Welcome to Tea and Token Thursdays, where four toys gather together on Thursdays at four o'clock to talk about the world of J.R. Token and beyond. Enjoy. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the show. You know who I am, and I hate all of you. Meow. Well, Susie, you don't have to be like that. Yes, I am. Okay, um, whew, what a week, huh, what a, what a weekend that was, huh, yeah, we had the wildest weekend of our lives, something I hope to never repeat again, ugh, I know, first, we went to Avengers Endgame, and don't worry, we won't spoil it for you, yeah, we're too nice, so all I can say is, and now for the spoiler-free review of Avengers Endgame. The movie is totally worth watching. It's totally worth it. Totally worth it? Yeah, it's worth watching. And then you kind of will want to watch it again and again and again. Yes. And, uh, and the guy knows this. They finally, they finally take care of that stupid Thanos. <sighs> yeah. It sure feels weird, though, us not singing our Toy Avengers theme song anymore. I know. <sighs> it does feel kind of weird. We're not singing a song, and because we're not singing that song, well, uh, yeah. Never, never thought I'd miss hearing us sing that song. Well, well, I guess what? We didn't stop. Yeah, yeah, of course, we didn't stop. But Thanos did not choke to death like we thought. Ah! But Thanos, well, we didn't stop. Uh-huh. And we're, see, now here's what the song really means. We are the toys. Yep. And then we're just introducing ourselves. And then we did the song, and we're coming to get you Thanos. And then you better watch out, because the toy Avenger is coming for you. And then we will slap you, and we'll scratch your ass up. That, that, that's what we're going to do to him once we catch him. And we won't stop until you choke to death. That means we're not going to stop. And then say, it's, a, it's called... We ain't stopping until you're dead. We're not going to stop beating you up until you're dead. Yes. And guess what? We are all the Toy Avengers. So, let's go, Toy Army. The Toy Army. An army of toys. <sighs> wow, well, I feel sad for us not singing that song. But I know what we can. I know what's not going to end. This. Today is Thor's Day, everybody. Woo! That's right. Thor's Day. And guess what? What, Humphrey? We're going to hit Thanos with a hammer. <laughs> uh, we can't. Oh, right. Darn, I thought we were, I was, sir, I was really looking forward to hitting Thanos with a hammer. Wow. Well, at least he still has Stormbreaker. And, uh, well, we are, now that we gave you your spoiler-free version of Token, we also forgot one thing. What? We forgot, uh, to do, you know, we kind of forgot that it was the unexpected anniversary. The unexpected anniversary of, of the Hobbit. We, we kind of forgot about that. Yeah. Because it was so exciting. Of course it was exciting. <laughs> the day Belbo and Thor and Matt. Well, we'll have to discuss it next week. Because here's what we're doing today. What? Today's topic is called the Tolkien movie. Yay! Wow. Yeah. It doesn't come out till next week. Ah! I know. Ah! <sighs> I know. 
Why? Why can't we have the movie be out like yesterday? <sighs> Some people just don't appreciate the wait. Yeah. And we did not appreciate having to wait a whole year to see Thanos be taken care of. Uh, taken care of how? Well, we won't spoil it for you, but it ain't pretty. Heh. <laughs> That's one of the only things he did was pretty. But not to worry, though. Because, well... <sighs> we're still waiting for right. We're Leroy and Elena to do their little uh, review of Game of Thrones. But man, that was a wild week. <sighs> that week was a little too wild. Huh. First, on one hand, you got the Battle of Waterfowl. Where, where the evil Night King finally got what was coming to him. Hooray! And then at the same time, though... <sighs> They still have to deal with Cersei. Oh, it's like particularly very bad. Ugh. But be careful now. We celebrate fandoms. Other fandoms. Well, on May 4th, which is a Saturday, we're going to do May the 4th be with you. But then on May 5th, we will do Revenge of the Fifth. And then Return of the Sixth. And then The Seventh Awakens. And then The Last eight the last eight well we're trying to keep with the theme here all right last time we had a made before that was a thursday and we dedicated that broadcast of tea and token to star wars yes i guess it was one of those characters that you made up for your story undoubtedly called it star wars the dumbest movie he ever saw on saturday night live <laughs> yeah, that was. I mean, can you just imagine how embarrassed you must have felt watching Saturday Night Live and some and some teenager walked on stage and told and said and told the world that he thought Star Wars was the dumbest thing on the face of this earth. Yeah, I'd be pretty mad too. Yeah, I'd be mad too if <laughs> somebody told me. That my favorite story was dumb. Yeah, but nowadays, people are like, eh, what ifs. Wow. Wow, well, I say. They were like, eh, what ifs. Well, <laughs> if you think, whatever. Yes. But now that Thanos is taken care of, here comes the fun part. What's next for the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Why? Because that story, because it's not over yet. It'll never be over. As long as they keep making up finding stories. <laughs> yeah. Stories? Yeah. Like stories about superheroes. Yes. And, and because we keep finding stories of uh, heroes, Look, the more stories we explore, the better. Like, think about it. We got, here's what we, now, we got to announce the forecast of what you can expect from the Marvel Cinematic Universe moving forward. First, we have to have the Black Widow movie. Wow. Well, when? Well, for now, that, that, the story is kind of, the synopsis is kind of, up in the air, so to speak. Up in the air. <laughs> and then... Next, there will be Spider-Man Far From Home. Huh. Which is supposed to start right after... And end the game. Huh. Yay! And of course, as a role, very few people know that he's Spider-Man. Why? Because he, he keeps it that way. Because he likes it that way. Yeah. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Spins a web. That's a itty slice. Catches Thanos. Beats up that guy. Spins a web. Itty slice. Catches Thanos. Beats up that guy. Hooray! Go get him, Spider-Man. 
All right. Go get them, Spider-Man. Go get them, Spider-Man. Yeah. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. He does whatever Spider-Man does. Can you see him? Yes, you can. Better look up. Overhead. That's right. It's gonna be Spider-Man. Yes! <laughs> hey, he's crying. And he puts an end to it. It don't matter who the criminals are. They're gonna get, they're gonna get their butts kicked. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. He's your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Fame and fortune, he refuses. Privacy is what he chooses. That's right. Here comes Spider Man. Yes! But, <laughs> wow, well, we're gonna have to sing a different song because we won't be doing the Toy Avengers song anymore. But, we do appreciate, yeah, but a lot of people appear to appreciate our tribute to Stan Lee. <sighs> Who has done his last Stanley thing? Ah! I thought that guy would outlive us all. Oh, but he will. <sighs> I know. And it's so bad he won't be seen in any of those Disney TV shows that they're doing for Disney Plus. Which I advocate, which I strongly advocate getting. And paying the one year price. Because, <laughs> wow. We have a few new, yeah, we have a few new scenes, a few new things that's going to happen, like, such as, such as what? First, you have, uh, <laughs> Scarlet Witch and Vision. Yay! Hopefully, they'll find a way to get Vision back. Oh, wait! They do! <laughs> Don't worry. Shuri will take care of that. <laughs> Shuri can take care of that as well. And we don't mind, cause we'll say, once we see Shuri getting Vision back up and running, <laughs> once Vision, yes. So thanks to Shuri, Vision will be up and at him. Yep. And then at, and then the next time, the next superhero show we see will be the Falcon vs. Ha! I overlay one on buddy cop comedies. Yeah, you keep talking about a buddy cop comedy. That's what we want to say. <laughs> now, Miss Buddy, a buddy cop. <sighs> you're always, you're always, you're always obsessed with that. You just love, you just want to see something like that, don't you? Hey, Jenna Humphrey. Ow. And then, third, they will do Hawkeye. Hawkeye. Huh. Are you sure that's a good idea? Yes. And then, it, it, well, of course, I already know that 99% of everybody here is looking forward to <sighs> Loki. Loki! Ah! Loki, 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 Loki. Ah. Ah, it's always about Loki. Who does what he wants, whatever he wants. Ah. He just, well, I mean, we already know, we already established one thing. He's not bad in particular. He just likes to be naughty. Yeah, naughty as in, I'm going to put salt in, I'm going to put salt in the sugar ball. <laughs> now, I'm going to go crazy and kill a whole bunch of people. That, that's not how Loki rolls. Yeah. But we're still mad at Thanos for doing that to him. I fear to you, Thanos. And we're just going to keep throwing out all the abuse. Yeah. Let's throw out all the abuse on Thanos. And I fear to anyone who leaks the plot. Uh, <laughs> yep. Because anybody who does that, <laughs> they deserve to die. A horrible death. And, uh, Captain Marvel should punch him in the face. <laughs> Whew. Well, don't you want her to do anything other than punch people in the face? Wow. 
Well, there she will be getting a sequel, okay? Yes. And then there will be a Doctor Strange 2, and a Black Panther 2, and a Guardians of the Galaxy 3. And this time, they will call it The Search for Character Redirected. <laughs> yes! Wait a minute. Character Redirected? Yep, we can't spoil it yet. All right. <laughs> the spoiler ban has yet to be lifted. So, uh, even if that were to happen, I mean, we should do it like, that's how the, the next Star Trek, remember in Star Trek Part 2, the the one that had the Wrath of Khan? Yeah, and then at the end, Spock freaking died. Ah! <laughs> and that was, and that's what caused Kurt to yell out that infamous, God! Ha! <laughs> I'm sure every I'm sure that everybody who was alive during that time remembers that. Yeah. And uh so when he says Khan, he does it with a stream of anguish. And Spock says, I have bet be your friend. Ah That's so sad. Because guess what? Yeah, we had that. Well, before we go any further, let's talk that one scene in Star Trek Into Darkness. Into Darkness? You mean Into Tears? No, that's Star Trek Beyond. <coughs> now, it was. Yeah, we had the part where the roles of Kirk and Spock have been reversed, but it's no less than painful. Like, why? Like, when it became evident that Kirk was dead, you see Scotty look like <laughs> almost 50, 60 years old. He had, he just suddenly became an old man overnight. You, then you see the normally, all, she's so, all, your her, who's so all together, she just breaks down and starts crying. And then, of course, you say, Bones going, oh no. Why? Why? And, but then nothing in the world is more painful than hearing Spock scream. God! And see that look of pain and anguish on his face. Ah! Brokers are not supposed to, ex to express their emotions. But he does. And it was anger and hatred and pain. I mean, Captain Kirk was his friend, and he was unceremoniously killed by Khan. Ah! Why would I do that? I fear the Khan! <sighs> yeah. <laughs> and we also, we also want to iterate that today has been <laughs> 11 years since Iron Man. da 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 no, 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 no. And then we thought, okay, then that's just another movie. Like, like, okay, well, eating, it's like, it's probably going to be all right. And then we found out it was Robert Downey Jr. <sighs> Who stars as one of the most arrogant, spoiled men on the face of the earth. Ah, so arrogant, so spoiled. Yeah, and then has a very humiliating accident, and got a hit in here with a piece of shrapnel in his chest, <laughs> which is extremely painful. So put on your seatbelts, kids. <laughs> yes, and then of course he meets a bald guy who gives him some very harsh lessons, and then he's got a black friend who's a hundred and percent done with him. <laughs> <laughs> and it's shenanigans. And then, of course, he has a girlfriend who's just as equally 100% done with his shenanigans. And yes, he was a Sherlock. <laughs> yep. Because eight years later, we see another guy who's so selfish and spoiled and arrogant who gets into a, a very humiliating accident. And this time, it cost him the use of his hands. Ow! Cats! 
keep your simple sparkle and no texting while driving because <laughs> losing your the use of your hands is extremely painful that's right guys hands on the wheel eyes on the road and that's right folks driving responsibly because hey, i like my hands <laughs> yeah but i'm so bad he lost his hands and then of course at the end he meets this a bald person who teaches him some pretty harsh lessons mainly about the magical universe yep and then of course he meets a black guy who is a a hundred percent done with him and then he meets and then his girlfriend is like a hundred percent done with him and he was also Sherlock <laughs> well okay so uh here we go no, no, that's the whole, that's down. The talk of the movie. So, in this story, the story is this. You have this guy in World War One, remembering his childhood. And, and then he meets the woman that he will one day marry. He will eventually marry. And he talks to and it also explores what led him to writing the story known as Lord of the Rings. It's not about World War II, it's about World War I. Yes. So, it, so it's about Tolkien. Yeah. And he had formed, he all, he, it wasn't just about him alone. He had formed a band of friends. Uh, he so he gets with some friends and they talked about fantasy, <laughs> old school fantasy. Yep, and and all I know they talk about fantasy. It's a, the thing is, Tolkien is Lord of the Rings. He studied the English language. Hey, he essentially invented a mythology. For the people of England. Everybody else gets their own mythology. So why not England? Yeah. And besides. What can be better. Than a story about a man. Who. Created these great works. That we are reading today. That millions of people around the world. Are reading today. Besides. <laughs> I highly doubt. If we're ever going to get. Something like that written about another guy not unless it's C.S. Lewis but they already have a movie about that yeah and we could discuss that but one more thing Game of Thrones I ain't gonna spoil it for you but it's like Endgame except with half the stuff that went on in Endgame and 99% more star <laughs> of course the Stark family anyone whose last name is Stark is probably hardy <laughs> like our friend Ryan whose last name just happens to be Stark yep well and that's how that story goes right okay now that that's settled who wants to go see Endgame a second time yes because I guarantee it, you'll want to see it again, and again, and again. And, ah, Loki! <laughs> what? Ah! He loki my phone! Ah! <laughs> and now we're just going to use his name as a verb. Wow, well, hey, he's messed up our phone. It's Loki! Huh. <sighs> oh, my goodness. He... Yep, yeah, it's better than being sad, huh? Which is exactly what they're gonna do if anybody else chooses to spoil the show. Okay, everybody, thank you all for tuning in to this broadcast. And remember, no spoiling Endgame for anyone who hasn't seen it yet. Because this weekend, we will give you our all-exclusive review of Avengers Endgame. And if you haven't seen it by now, well, 
Shame on you. Yep, we give you plenty of chances. So, okay, everybody. Now it's time for us to meet with Leroy and Elena and do the show with them. Yep. So, you know who I am and you know what this is about. So, peace. Everybody say awesome. And we'll see you soon. Goodbye. All right. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Meow. <laughs> Meow.